Hi guys, welcome back to AW Smart Repairs and Black Stag Styling. So for this video we are going to be doing um, a walkthrough, uh, all the uh, bits and pieces involved in doing alloy wheel refurbishing. Uh, right through from the repairs uh, through to the primer paint and lacquer and then of course the end result. But we thought we can't do this just on a standard normal car so we decided as we happen to have in for a couple of days a McLaren 650S what better car to do an alloy wheel refurbishment video for? So stay tuned for this, uh, watch, hopefully it'll give you some information, details on how to refurbish alloy wheels, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications, follow the links, see what you think, comment down below. Right, let's get this baby in the workshop. <laughs> Right, okay, we're now taking the uh, wheel off the McLaren to refurbish the damage. So the damage to the wheel on, on this, so it's the offside rear and the near side front alloy wheel faces we're doing for this video. Um, we're not refurbishing the whole wheel, so we're going to break, get the wheels off, break the bead of the tyre, drop the tyre inside the wheel and we can refurbish the face of the wheel. Um, so we'll go right through that process, but before we do, we just thought we'd add in also jacking the car up and removing the wheel. So. Any car, all this applies to any vehicle you're doing. So make sure when you jack the car up, you make sure you use the correct jacking point. Check in the manual, service book possibly, online or with the dealership um, or franchise dealership who you bought the car from, just to make sure you jack it up correctly. Because if you don't, and you jack it up on the sill, you stand a massive risk of damaging the car and having to bring it somewhere like AW Smart Repairs to have the work done. Uh, we're always happy to help, of course. Um, so find a jacking point, then just check it's the correct jacking point, line your jack up, take your time jacking the car up. Once you've got it to the height you need, then use an axle stand to place underneath in the correct place also, so that you don't damage the, the car or the wheel or the, or the area behind the wheel, like the brakes. So once you've done all of that, check you've got the correct uh, size socket. So we do have uh, an impact uh, bolt remover. On this occasion what we're going to do, and we would always do, is we check to make sure we've got the right size socket. We have already removed some of the bolts as you can see. When you put it in the, on the, over the top of the bolt, there should be, as you can see, very little movement between the bolt and your socket to make sure it's the correct one. So they're normally 17, 18, 19 mil bolts on most wheels or nuts. Then we would always use a breaker bar, which is what we've done. So you place the socket on. Place it on the wheel, we've got one left on here. We have all bro broken all of them off before we started. Put your hand on the, on the end of the uh, breaker bar just to keep it level and then just press down, always press down, not pull up um, so you don't injure yourself and then break, break, the, uh, break them all off. First of all, then with this particular wheel, we're gonna, we've done it all by hand just to undo the rest of them. We've got the last one to undo, so we'll now do that. I always put my foot at the bottom of the wheel just to stabilise it so that the wheel isn't going to suddenly fall off the car when we remove the last bolt. So we undo the last one. There we go, so that's the last one, put that there. Um, I'll get a, a pot to put all of these in later. So the thing to remember with, with a lot of supercars is they may have ceramic brakes. If they've got ceramic brakes you can tell the difference by looking at the disc. Uh, if that is the case then you have to be really careful taking the wheel off and do not touch the brake disc. Uh, when they're ceramics they will damage really easily. They are hugely expensive to replace. So very, very carefully remove the wheel from the car, like so. Just take that back so it doesn't touch the disc. There we go, one wheel off the car. Happy days! Keep watching, we'll um, get the other wheel off the car, we'll get the wheel cleaned up and then we'll carry on video um, whilst we do the repairs. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment down below, tell us what you think. Right, uh, we've got a wheel in here off a uh, McLaren, um, uh, it's just a small amount of curb mark uh, around, around the edge of, edge of the rim, um, so I'm just going to sand, sand that with an 80 grit um, and then take it down through the grades to a 180. 
I'll put a small amount of primer around the edge, blow the colour in a little bit further and then I'll clear the whole wheel and that will look good as new. Fantastic. So it's just to the face of the wheel just and the Just to power. the face of the wheel, yeah. We're not, we're not doing anything to the back of the wheel. Just clean that all up. And yeah. Lovely. Away we go. Uh, what sanding discs are we using? What we'll start oh, I'll with? I'll start with an 80 grit. Just okay. to take that edge straight off um, and then I'll go back down to 180 and then I can prime straight over the top of that. Fantastic. Will we be spot primer in that Yeah, sort of just yeah. a small amount of spot primer just around the rim where I've sanded through to the metal. Cool. Um, yeah. Excellent. Carry on, pal. So I've now sanded the damage all out of the wheel. I'm now going to key the rest of the wheel up with a piece of grey scotch brite uh, just to prepare that ready for putting the clear coat over the rest of the wheel. Cool, okay mate. This is where you turn up the speed and make it look like I go really, really fast prepping the wheel up. <laughs> right, so the wheel's now all sanded down, uh, scotched up, I've cleaned it all and uh, put the cardboard around the outside so we don't get no angus brown attire. I'm going to put a small amount of epoxy primer just over the area that has got bare alloy. Superb. Carry on, pal. <laughs> Looking good, pal. Looking good. Looking good. Right, so you now join me in the spray booth with the McLaren wheels. Um, I'll give the primer a little tickle back. I'm now going to blow them down with a, a tack cloth to take any any little bits that are laying on the top of the wheel. Um, and then we're going to apply some base coat. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Go for it, big boy. McLaren. Uh, wheels are all done as you know so we're now going to get the wheels back on the car. Um, it's most important what we've done is uh, kept the wheel bolts in the hub of the wheel just so that we don't lose any of the bolts. So now we're going to get them out. We'll get the bolts uh, copper slipped up. Uh, that's a type of grease uh, basically used to be, uh, perfect for wheel bolts and hubs uh, just to stop everything seizing up in the wheel um, for if it needs to be removed again in the future. So we'll quickly get that done, um, we'll get the wheel lined up and then we'll start putting the bolts in. Good to remember as well on this one, so the being that it's the McLaren, 
um, it has the ceramic brake disc so we've got to be extremely careful putting the wheel back onto here that we don't touch the disc uh, because they can quite easily chip the minute they're chipped uh, they need to be replaced so we definitely do not want to be doing that so we get a first bolt and uh, just copper slip it up so that's ready to go on there we go we'll pop that in there that's ready to get the wheel straight on the car and we we'll get the wheel on So we'll get it as close as possible lined up and we'll slide it towards the wheel, towards the hub, and then we go. Then we can move it on the wheel, move the wheel on the hub till we're lined up. Again, just use, just use the foot to stabilise the wheel so it can't fall off the car. And then we start with the bottom bolt. Go all the way in by hand. Don't need to use any air guns or anything. Now just help line the wheel up. There we go. And the wheel can't come off the car. So we haven't touched the disc. Now we can concentrate on all the other bolts. Copper slip the rest of them up. Get them on the car. Then we'll look to get the car onto the ground. Uh, once the car's on the ground, we've got the other wheel to put on as well. Then we will um, make sure everything's okay. And then we we'll use a torque wrench, which we'll go through in a second, to torque the wheel nuts, the wheel bolts up to the correct setting. That, by doing that, we're not over, over tightening the bolts. Um, so there's no, you know, all of this is the same on any car. Uh, if you stick to that, you won't go wrong and you won't damage anything. Isn't that right, Fraser? Absolutely. <laughs> Don't forget, of course, comment down below if there's anything you'd like to uh, see us doing in the future. As long as it's um, legal, we'll, do it on the, we'll put it on the video. Check out all of our links, of course, as well. Check out the website, um, AW Smart Repairs, and, of course, our Black Stag Styling website as well. And don't forget to check that out. Once everything's finished, we'll get the car washed and then we'll do a uh, nice little video around the car to finish. Happy days! Okay, right, so we're now going to torque the wheel nuts, uh, the wheel bolts up. Um, make sure you get the uh, correct torque settings. Uh, normally, most vehicles start at around 90 newton meters and go up from there, 100, 110. Check to make sure you get the correct torque setting. Um, if you haven't got a torque wrench like this, where you can set the torque settings, um, it's probably best to just pop in and see a garage and get them to torque and avoid to the correct settings. Uh, something like this type of vehicle, easily going to be looking at 130, 150 newton meters, so we've checked to make sure we've got the right settings so we now get this torqued up. And we've also set up the tyre pressures as well to make sure the tyre pressures are all correctly set for the vehicle. Uh, they're all done. We've actually checked the other wheels as well to make sure everything's the same. Uh, we'll get this finished, get it out from the side, get it washed, tyres dressed, um, and then we'll finish the filming from there. Happy days! Uh, also, a very minor thing when you're talking wheel nuts up, go diagonally across the bolts. So start at one, then go across to the other, uh, diagonally across the next one. So uh, once you've done them all, recheck them all again diagonally to make sure they're all set.
Hi guys, thanks for checking out our latest video at AW Smart Repairs and Black Stag Styling. So as you know, um, we've had in this fantastic McLaren 650S. Don't get too many of these in, so it's been a pleasure to work with this. On this one, as you know, it's been the alloy wheels to refurbish. We've done it more as a sort of tutorial on how to refurbish alloy wheels. So we hope you found it useful. Um, nice to do it on something as, um, as, as impressive as the McLaren. Don't forget, like and subscribe to our channel. Of course, turn on the notifications so you stay up to date with all of our videos. Check out the links below. Check out our websites. Don't forget about our merchandise as well for our Black Stag styling, t-shirts and hoodies. Okay, stay tuned for more. We'll do a um, little video as normal of the car coming out of the workshop and we'll do a little around the car and show you the wheels that are finished as well. Thanks for watching. Woohoo!